I think it's a matter of national pride. You know, the United States uh, has been overtaken by a lot of countries in various aspects of sailing. The America's Cup, the Olympic Games, even the around the world races. And it's not really a mystery. You know, a lot of countries put a lot more energy into developing their youth sailors. Project Pipeline really got rolling just about 16 months ago. And I was just really impressed with what a great year 2015 was, right out of the box. The central element of Project Pipeline is the Olympic Development Program. In the first year, we had over 235 sailors participate in ODP activity, including a training camp out of Miami that featured over 125 sailors. Up until 2015, a very small amount of funds were put towards youth development. And the big motive behind Project Pipeline was, one, the need, obviously, and two, we have the right people uh, currently on the U.S. Olympic coaching staff. And in particular, we have a young man named Leandro Spina, who's been part of our U.S. Olympic coaching team, but he really cares a lot about kids. One of the most exciting things about Project Pipeline is to meet the talent around the country. And we are super excited to see how much talent there is. We find talent in every corner of the country. And that's why our program is focused on developing and working with high performance classes on creating opportunities for that talent. Well, us coming from the Midwest, we didn't really know much about ODP or US sailing at all, so we had no clue what we were stepping into when we came here. They've got a lot of funding and the program is really good. We've got top level coaches here and really good sailors. Well, the, the opportunity for the young sailors is to get Olympic caliber coaching in high performance boats. They're sailing with coaches like Mark Littlejohn of the U.S. Sailing Team Sperry, gold medalist Anna Tunnicliffe, Olympian Chris Rast, Fuzz Spanik, who's a technical director for the U.S. Sailing Team Sperry. And all along the way, these kids are going fast and they're having fun making friends. Christina, Leo, if you guys are in that, I don't think I'm going to make it. Decision. Make the move. Get out of there. So they have to be going full speed, T minus 10 seconds, and hopefully hit the starting line at zero. A lot of it is oriented towards the Olympics, but good Olympic sailors become good America's Cup sailors and they become great round the world sailors. I want to be the best I can be and being here is going to help me do that. So. For everyone to have a goal and aspire to a goal, you know, winning's always a little bit sweeter, but being there competing, learning to win and lose. Those are great skills for anything, for life. I think my goal is to get top five at this 29er Nationals that's coming up. And just like getting better starts. Hopefully we'll finish top five at Youth Champs. And my goal is probably just to uh, get stronger and better and be able to move faster in the boat. Possibly the Olympics one day. <laughs> yeah, what she said. <laughs> You get invited uh, to an ODP training camp uh, by coaches uh, who attend the evaluation events and the regattas that are listed at ussailing.org. Another easy way to get involved is to reach out. Our contact information is on the website. So if they reach out to us and they start talking sailing, we love it. And we start talking sailing and we start designing a path for each individual sailor. It is very important for our Olympic program to have Project Pipeline because it's the foundation of the future. The sooner we develop our talent, the better chances we have to succeed. And we will succeed because we're focused on the right things now.